what happens to the home when I, when I pass away? You know, it's a great question. And, and here's where I think I could share a lot of value because I do have a lot of clients. I've settled, I've helped a lot of families to, uh, I don't settle estates cause I'm not an attorney, but I've helped them to settle, you know, their affairs and, you know, you know, process claims on different things for, for families once somebody passes away. And so I personally, the reason why I want to heck them for me at 62 and my wife is that asset for a lot of people, the house becomes frustrating. So the reason why I went out and wrote a couple books about retirement was after meeting with a thousand families, I realized the common scenario in America is people are retiring with a 401k, 403b, 457, whatever, a retirement account and a home. Some people it's paid off, some people it's not. And if things keep going the way they're going, people are going to need more income at some point. That's why I'm out on a mission trying to raise awareness and writing books and doing things like that. When somebody passes away or, or let's just say someone's in retirement, right? Their home can be frustrating because they see all this equity yeah. that's in the house and they don't know how to use it wisely. They don't know how to actually enjoy life while they can in the good early years. Mm -hmm. They're saving it all for the end, right? I personally at 62 would love the idea of making memories with my two daughters, having that fund, certain things for my lifestyle, and then leaving my girl's life insurance because helping so many families that have come in after their parents are gone, I don't, maybe a couple times, have siblings negotiated with another sibling to let someone live in the family home, nine times out of 10, they sell the home and move on. Life insurance is a wealth transfer vehicle. I'd rather give my girls life insurance, you know, tax free in one lump sum than a house. So, you know, for me personally, I like the idea of intentionally making memories and doing things while my wife and I are healthy with my daughters, my future grandkids one day, and then just leaving them life insurance. So okay. the end result would probably be I can't speculate. I have no idea what the house is going to be appreciate by over her lifetime, but let's just say there's no equity left, but it freed up 1800 a month for 30 years. I mean, there's that's a trade off there. And that's tax free because you're pulling debt essentially. So that's, that's not tax. Yeah, you're just wiping off a liability that's going out. So that's right. not even. Yeah. So